Alright. And Those are the books for some of the okay. discs and all that. Alright. And no other video game stuff other than that thing? Sir, I have an Xbox, but I don't, I'm honestly not sure if I'm the wire for it or not. Do you have any games for it? No, I have a PlayStation 2 game somewhere. Okay. Somewhere? Yeah, there's somewhere. If you want a PlayStation 2 game, but I also have a PlayStation 2. I'm more after the games for that one. I think I have a PS2 as well. The game? My PS3 plays PS2 games. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I would have to find it. Okay. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll it's, a, it's a mess now, right now, <laughs> you know. Take a picture of the games, what I have. See if you're interested in them. Yeah. yeah. I think that's one, two, three. If you want to double check. Yeah. Yes, one, two, three. Right. The, the guns? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, the House of the Dead, I know that one for sure. Yeah. That one's fun. No. These right here. Oh, okay. You just clip them off and then they clip into here. Okay. I never had the guns as well, so that's yeah. cool. Thanks, man. I, I was wondering if the cell was here. There's some lady, like, had her dogs and suck them on me. <laughs> some, oh, she lives, like, down oh, really? there. She kept saying, can I help you? I'm like, is there a sale here? Oh, what happened? Like, she just came up to me and was like, can I help you? Right here? Yeah. And I was... Here? Yeah. No, she, she was down there and she's like, can I help you? And then she took a picture of my license plate. I'm like, what am I... I didn't do anything oh, wrong. Oh, 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 oh. Our neighbor. Can you please tell her that I was just here for your sale? Oh, we don't know them. Oh, you know? But they live across the street. Yeah, they probably don't know where I'm going to go. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I brought them over here. Remember I said there were only a few. Yeah. If you're interested. Um, you want to make me an offer for the whole field? Yeah. I was looking at that mini fridge too. Does it work? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, We've just had it plugged in. <laughs> just unplugged it to bring it. You said three bucks okay. for the manuals? Three for all the manuals together. Okay. And then two bucks each, unless you want to make me like an offer for all of them. And then this is a DS. Oh, charger? Yeah. You don't have the system for it, for DS? No. No, okay. Um, I'll, I do want the fridge, so 20 plus 3 plus... From this sale right here, I just found a PS3 for 10 bucks, and then a couple games. Um, the Super Nintendo was 20 with two games, and there's a couple of PS1 games and PS2 games. And you can see there's Mega Man Legends 1. So I thought that was a pretty good deal but for everything. I paid um, 40 bucks, so that wasn't that bad. So hopefully you'll see the, all the games in the pickup video. But anyways, so I just wanted to show you that. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Grimsy Finds here, back with another pre-season pickup video for live garage sales. So, um, after this video, probably um, the garage sales will be live will be lively more. So, uh, I will officially start the season then. But for now, um, this last couple weeks has still been kind of slow. So that's that's why um, you saw a compilation of just like three sales. I think is because of the um, the lack of uh, garage sales. But I did find stuff. Um, really cool stuff. Um, I actually got scared in one sale, and I'll tell you that story first. But um, just like I said, um, the live garage sale season will start after this video, probably. So for the first sale, um, the reason I said I was a little scared is because uh, something happened that had never happened before. And um, so I got a little. I went to a sale a little early because um, they had listed video games, and um, I waited on the side. It was like this weird, uh, secluded. Uh, like ranch area uh, there was like a couple like five houses there and um, I parked to the side um, just waited like 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 10 minutes and then I f just to see if uh, if there would be the, any movement in the garage the garage the garage was still closed so um, before the 10 minutes were up um, this lady came up to me and uh, just said can I help you and I was like oh um, I'm just I'm just waiting for this garage so to open um, just uh, are you are is this your property or what are you doing and then she said can i help you again i'm like um so this is your property or uh, are you really are you hosting the sale didn't hurt anything about a garage sale you better get your ass out of here and i was just like what um don't know what you're talking about um and she had these two big old dogs and i wish i got this on footage but i didn't 
Um, and she basically almost sicked them on me. Uh, I don't know why I didn't do anything to her. I just kept, stayed respectful. I even said thank you for letting me know um, that this, there wasn't a sale here. So what I did was I just took off and she took a picture of my license plate. I don't know why. I don't know if I can get in trouble for that. If I mean, if I, I I'm sure I don't I don't get in trouble for anything because I didn't do anything wrong. Um, but um, as I was leaving, I saw that there was movement up there. So I knew they were going to set up. So I drove away, came back five minutes later, and they were fully set up. Uh, they were fully in gear to set up uh, for the sale. Wasn't the lady's property, so I don't know what the hell was her problem. But I guess she lived a couple blocks down, and she was just protecting the neighborhood or something. I don't know. That's kind of weird to me. Um, I could have sued her butt for uh, sticking her dogs on me. But uh, anyways, uh, nothing happened to me. Everything was okay. I found a mini fridge, and I think I got that on footage. I got a mini fridge and then I got um, a couple manuals and a couple games for uh, 25 bucks I think. The fridge she had for 20 so the 20 the fridge was 20 and everything else was uh, 5 bucks. So let me show you the, I'm not going to show you the mini fridge because you, you should have seen that in the footage but everything else is right here. Bunch of manuals for PS1 and PS2, I'm not going to go through all of them. And then a uh, couple games here, uh, Amazing Island, kind of beat up. Uh, Call of Duty Finest Hour for GameCube, and then uh, Street 2, and another GameCube game here, uh, Marvel Nemesis, a, game, a DS game, a My Word Coach, um, and Turtles for PS2. And it also came with this, uh, I think this is for the uh, DVD controller for PS2. Um, so yeah, that, that was a little weird. Just... Just whenever you're contacted by someone, just be nice. I know it didn't work with this lady, but normally, uh, if you're nice and you're polite, uh, they'll um, be lenient with you if you're early or, or, you know. But like I said, this wasn't her. It was wasn't her property. It wasn't. It was. I was on a street, which is public domain. So again, I don't know what happened with that lady. Um, wish her the best, though. If you're seeing this video, um, I was just at the yard sale, so um, yeah. Sorry. Uh, the next sale, I um, actually found a couple couple of systems. It was actually interesting. So um, I went to the sale. Just uh, I was picking my friend up to go to the swap meet, actually, uh, DarkCon 25. And um, on the way to this house, I saw a yard sale sign, so I decided to stop by. As I was going in there, I saw a PS3, and then I saw to the side of it a uh, Super Nintendo. I didn't have my key fob on me uh, because, uh, like I said, I was going to the swap meet. So uh, I did record uh, footage. Um, of me putting him in my trunk and showing you guys uh, so here's what I got um, first let me show you the Super Nintendo it is yellowed again I think this is like the fifth or fourth Super Nintendo I found in the last two videos so Super Nintendo has been great to me so far it came with two games for Super Nintendo um, let's see uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 and I didn't have this one so happy to get it is Tetris Attack don't know if it's anything like the original Tetris um, but I will be keeping that one a couple other games right here uh it didn't come with it didn't come with pokemon uh, silver i got Mega Man legends uh and chester wanted it um so i texted him the picture of it uh he took it uh he said he'll trade me for pokemon silver so i got pokemon silver um i was just gonna flip it anyway because um i already have po uh, Mega Man legends one uh completed in box for ps1 so um i was just gonna be a recouper so that'll be my recouper uh, also got Point Blank 2, uh, Digimon Rumble Arena, kind of both a little scratched, I still have to test them, uh, Crash Bash, also scratched, um, and then two PS2 games, uh, Ratchet and Ratchet Deadlocked, and then a Def Jam Vendetta. So that, the Super Nintendo uh was 30 bucks uh he said he said 25 for the super nintendo it came with uh cables no controller though and then um for the games he said five bucks so that was cool and then the ps3 he said uh 10 bucks because uh he said it doesn't turn on like it turns on but the picture doesn't show up on the screen and i'm hoping it's just a just the issue with the 
changing the settings on the PS3 to recognize your TV because usually that's what happens. Uh, you connect it for the first time and it doesn't recognize your TV so you have to customize it by holding the button. So I'm really hoping that's what it is and if it is then that's great because I have a fat but my fat doesn't have as much memory as this one. So hopefully uh, it ends up working. If not then I'll just be selling it as is. So anyways this was a nice deal for 10 bucks. Like two houses away from my friend's uh, Darkon 25's house because again we were going to the swap meet. Uh, I found these two Xbox 360 games. At first they were like, oh no, we don't have any games. And then I was just like, you know, I always ask because you never know what people have. It's like, oh yeah, wait a moment, I do have something. And she pulled out Xbox 360 games and these are the two I wanted. So that's where I got those. Uh, those were, I think, five bucks for both. I'm not sure though. And then for my last find, is an unusual find because I never see it ever, ever, ever. Uh, is a Dreamcast bundle. And by no means did I get an awesome deal on this. Uh, it was worth this the amount I paid, but um, the reason I, I bit the bullet is because, I, number one, I never find Dreamcast games. Number two, I can make my money back and keep some games. And number three, um, it came with the with two cool uh, accessories for the Dreamcast, so that's why I paid that. You guys might disagree with me, but uh, I thought it was I thought it was a fair deal, and like I said, I'll be I will be making my money back. 100%. Uh, it, and it's uh, I paid $150. Yes, that's a lot. But uh, I'll let you see the, the games and the accessories. So the Dreamcast is right here. And I tr I did try haggling. I did try lowering it to 120 He said if I kept saying 120 he would just put it back in the house. So uh, anyways, here's a Dreamcast. But yeah, for some reason, whenever I find a Dreamcast in a yard sale, they never have any games. So the fact that he had... 31 games uh, made made this a uh, nice deal and then it came with two controllers and they both have uh, VMUs and they both have the rumble packs and these things he said also worked with the accessory which were the which were the guns two light guns so and these are an overall nice shape so th those were those were really cool I like I love light gun games so that's why I bit the bullet on that and, and then this, this shoe box is full of Dreamcast games in here, and I will be showing you all of them. But um, you can just imagine when he brought the box full of Dreamcast games, I just kind of like, I couldn't believe it. Um, so let me, uh, in a second, I'll show you all the, uh, the Dreamcast games. All right, so let me show you the Dreamcast games. They're all right here now. Um, Daytona USA. Uh, World Series Baseball 2K1. NFL 2K2, NFL 2K1, NBA 2K1, those were the worst games of the bundle, Rayman 2 The Great Escape, and uh, all, all these games that don't have the front manual, actually came, the manuals did come, I'll show you that in a minute, but uh, Pen Pen, Tomb Raider, Air Force Delta, all these cases I'm going to replace, so the fact that they're cracked or whatnot does it not matter because uh, and Yard tells us he'll buy a bunch of CDs for cheap to just for the cases. So um, Namco Museum, uh, Echo the Dolphin, Soul Fighters. Really happy about this one, sort of the Berserk. I used to have this one. And then I traded it away, and I regretted it ever since. So I'm definitely going to keep it this time. Uh, test drive. A lot of these I didn't have, so I'm really excited to add more to my collection because my Dreamcast collection is tiny. Uh, if you saw my room tour, uh, which I'll put a link in the description below, um, yeah, my room, my Dreamcast collection is tiny, especially compared to Chester's, uh, which he will be probably showing you guys in this sometime in the coming months. Uh, Arrow wings. Fighting Force 2, uh, Mortal Kombat Gold, which is kind of sought after for Dreamcast, uh, Walt Disney Magical Racing Tour, 102 Dalmatians, Soul Calibur, Chicken Run, Sydney 2000, I had this for PS2, but nice to have it for Dreamcast. And I'm actually curious about the um, differences. Is uh, the King of Fighters Evolution, which is King of Fighters 99. Um, Frogger 2. 
NFL 2K1, Royal Rumble, Power Stone, which was a nice find, uh, Sonic Adventure, Shenmue, uh, which is a great game to find. Really happy about that one. It comes complete with all the discs and manuals. And then it came with uh, three loose games. Uh, there is a manual for one of the games in here. Uh, so, anyways, House of the Dead 2, which is for the light gun for sure. Um, Sega Bass Fishing. And then the last one, a game I didn't have, so I'm happy to get it, is Sonic Shuffle. So, that was a cool deal, I thought. And then, like I said, came with a group of manuals for the games that didn't have the manuals on them with the case. And uh, so you can get a couple of looks at them. There's a sword, uh, there's a sword berserk, and then I think the power stone one is in here somewhere. There, there's the power stone one. So, yeah, I was happy to get the manuals for sure because I hate having disc only games. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the pickup video. Um, like I said, the yard sale season is now beginning, so the for next episode will be the season opener. So hopefully you guys like this video and again, hopefully the season's great. So it's been looking pretty good so far. So all I can do is hope. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Grimsy Finds out.